Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to another How to Make a Junk Journal video. Yes, I hope y'all are doing well. Now, I have kind of been forced, not really forced, that's not the right word. Um, well, kind of, okay. I need to make a separate journal for my November and December of 2022, okay? Currently, this is the book that I'm working in, okay? It is a, a Moleskine extra large line, all right? And it looks like this in the back, right? Just a regular line notebook. Um, and I, I have enjoyed working in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is a sewn-in signature, right? It, there's only one, you know? But that's how it's looking. I'm not a huge fan of the gator mouth. Uh, and when I go to close this up, I'll probably just wrap a piece of fabric around it and tie it off like I did with my first one. Uh, this one holds from June until the end of October, okay? And I thought that I would be able to use, you know, um, the rest of these pages for November and December because I really haven't been like uh, journaling on the daily, you know, like this page has two days on it, you know, some pages have a whole week on it, you know, it all just depends. But I have been adding a lot of like little booklets and, you know, extra ephemera and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this book is not going to take much more and it's done. Okay. So this goes in, like I said, until the end of October. So I thought, mm, I've got to make a, another journal, right? And so I figured I would go ahead and put this into how to make a junk journal series, which I will link all of the links for that series uh, down below in the description box, okay? Now, uh, yeah, I ha so far I have how to make a junk journal using an old book, how to make a junk journal using small packaging, and today's is how to make a junk journal using either, well, this is actually a hanging file folder, a green and craft hanging file folder. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be how to make a junk journal using a file folder. Not a file folder, a hanging file folder, because they are different. I, I do believe that these are a bit thicker than the regular file folders you get normally. Okay, so this is what I did. Okay, here we go. We started out with this. The measurements that I decided, which now I can't find my ruler. Oh, no, there it is, okay. The measurement is, um, I believe six by nine, yeah. Six inches by nine inches going this way, okay? And so what I did was I took, the first thing I did was I made a spine. Okay, okay, let me see. I made a one inch spine here, okay, right? I wanna show you guys like every little step just in case you are a beginner or you know, this is the first time you're doing this, which you know, thus the term beginner, right? So what I did was I went ahead and folded it right here, like this original seam is what I used and then I counted, there are like some score marks in here. And let me get my ruler out. I think, just so you know, yeah. I went to the very last score mark. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if see right here, here is the main thing. And then there are these little like score marks. I went to the last score mark, okay? And then I simply folded it. Well, simply is, you know, a loose term here, right? but I took it and I folded it down, right? Okay. Use my bone folder, whatever. Now I have an inch spine, okay? Then I took it to my paper trimmer, all right? And I put it in here. Let's open this up so I have all the measurements out. Okay, what I did was I lined up this crease with six inches, okay? In other words, I didn't close it. Whoops, now I'm hooked. Now I'm hooked. Okay, in other words, I did not close it and cut it at six inches, okay? Or cut it as six inches this way because 
when you go like this and open it, you know, open up the spine, you're gonna have one, one end is gonna be, see, an inch shorter, right? So you have to do it from each of the crease marks, all right? I hope that makes sense. So I took this crease mark right here, the first one, and I lined it up with the six inches and I cut it. And then I turned it around, okay? Did the same thing with this crease mark, okay? Lined it up with six inches here, all right? Yep. Okay, and then cut it, all right? And then I went ahead and just folded it together because that the height doesn't make a difference if it's folded or not, right? Only the width does. So then I took it this way and I cut it nine inches, all right? And, <clears throat> excuse me, what I came up with is this right here, okay? A one inch spine. It's gonna have two signatures for November and December. Um, and there you have it, right? So simple little book, all right? Very, very simple. Um, you could also, like if you don't have this specific, you know, uh, hanging file holder, you could always use, um, I'm gonna show you. You could always, okay, here's an example right here. These are gonna be my end papers, okay? This is my end paper for November and this is my end paper for December, okay? So, if you don't have a file folder, no, no big deal. What you can do is, this is what I did to reinforce the spine area for the outside, okay? So, I took a cutoff from this right here, all right? Now, I'm showing you this just in case you don't have a hanging file folder, okay? So a little, a little side note here, a little tip for you. Okay, so I took this, right? It's an inch spine. And then I took a cutoff, right? Now the cutoff measures, let me see what it measures. Three and a quarter, okay, three and a quarter. I found my center and I do have, oh no, I cut the marks off, dang it. Okay, let me see if I have, do I have it? Yeah, okay, this was attached, all right? This was attached. So I found my center, right, and I marked it. And then I marked a half an inch to the left and a half an inch to the right, okay? Then I took my scoreboard, all right? If you don't have a scoreboard, uh, you just mark it with a line straight down and then you fold it, okay? So I took my scoreboard and I put it on here. It comes out to one, one and an eighth and I scored it. And then I went over to two and an eighth and scored it, all right? And then... I just fold it on those score marks, okay? And that gives me the spine and two sides, all right? Now again, going back to if you don't have a hanging file folder, okay? So here you have your spine, right? And it is it is three and a quarter. I will give you measurements just in case you wanna make a book this size because they're fairly easy measurements. So three and a quarter um, across by nine high, all right? Then, you find your center, and then a half an inch to either side of the center, you make those creases however you need to do it, okay? Either you have a scoreboard or you're just folding it on a line, which you can erase later, okay? Then, this is the inside, you know, this is your spine right here. What you can then do is take your end papers, right? Of course, this would be the same height, all right? Like. I'll explain the end papers when I get back to the file folder, but this would be nine, right? Nine by six, okay? You would then take these and just glue them, simply glue them on, right? To either side of your spine, okay? Leaving a tiny, the tiniest little bit of space, like a sixteenth of an inch, that way your book will fold, okay? So once you glue these on, it'll, well, you glue them this way, right? then it's gonna look like this, right? The cover of your book will look like this and you'll have a one inch spine and then the back of your book will look like this, okay? Once you glue it all together and whatnot, all right? I hope that makes sense. That is for those of you who do not have a hanging file folder, okay? I figured why not use them? I have them, number one. And number two, it's, you know, it's it's Christmassy to me. It's like fall season to me, the colors and, and all that jazz, okay? Now this right here is actually going to be glued right here on the back, okay? And this is going to strengthen my spine, 
All right, so it's gonna look like that, all right? Okay, now we've cut it down, we've made our uh, a spine, okay, for the book, and that's just to, uh, what's it called, to beef it up, right? To beef it up, because this is, not, it's like, mm, maybe thicker than cardstock, but not chipboard, okay? Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be plenty sturdy enough. No big deal. Okay. So that's how it's going to look on the outside. So let's just get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these end papers in. And what I did was I picked the papers I wanted. Okay. This is like more like cardstock. Oh, let me turn off this overhead light. I always forget to do that. Okay. So <clears throat> this is just cardstock from a paper pack. And what I did was this, okay, see this section right here, right here is six by nine, okay? I measured this paper five and three quarters, right? Yes, five and three quarters by eight and three quarters, okay? What that does is it gives me a quarter inch border all the way around when I go to glue it in, right? So I'll have a nice you know, border all the way around. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Let's move some stuff over here. All right, and I think, all right, yeah. Now we'll see how this works. This is the first time I'm ever attempting something like this. Yeah, I've done like clasp envelope journals and yeah, but, I, I, but I've never done this type of journal. So we'll see, we'll see. In my little glue bottle here, I have pH neutral PVA glue, all right? I like using that. Let me get my little squeegee out. I use this little thing. It's actually like a makeup brush, but I use it to spread my glue. You can use a credit card. You can use your finger, whatever, right? We're gonna put a pretty generous amount. Now, this glue here is, um, wet okay it's wet pva glue we're gonna see how it works i don't know oh it's all a mystery right so we're just going to generously put this on here and i do want to cover the whole thing because if you don't you could definitely get bubbles in your paper right and we don't want that no one wants bubbles in their paper so we're gonna try to do our best to spread this out evenly. You also don't want big gloppy glues, you know, big gloppy areas, right? So you're gonna just spread it out as best you can. Hopefully I'm in frame. I'm excited about this book actually, because like I said, I've, I've never made one like this before. So yeah. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. There is like, I don't know what that is. I don't want that. All right, get in there, get in there. All right. This glue does begin to get tacky, okay? No biggie. It, 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 I don't think it's a big deal. I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna spread some of these like lines out so they don't show up. I don't know. This is all a grand experiment, okay? So, let's us see here. I'm gonna line it up on the right side. Oh, we need to scooch it over some. Scooch it over some, scooch it over some. This glue does give you a little bit of wiggle room, so that's nice. Okay, that looks fairly good, I think. Well, it's as good as it's gonna get. All right, I have a little bit of glue on there. Sorry if I'm shaking you about. All right, now, all right, where is my, oh, my brayer, okay? I am going to brayer it just to make sure, oh, that ripped it off. Okay, no big deal, no big deal. It doesn't have to be perfect, although I try to get it to as near perfect as I can. <laughs> Yes, because that's just the way that I roll, all right? Get it? That's the way that I roll. Okay, now let's see. All right, now see that when I 
let me just show you. Okay, when I close the book, or when I, you know, when I fold it on the seam, there is about, it's not perfect, but there is about a quarter of an inch, okay, all the way around. I like it, I like it, okay? And the cardstock um, is going to take, uh, it, it's gonna make the, you know, the layers thicker, so this will be end up being, feeling thicker once it is completely dried, okay? Now, let's glue this one on. Let's see if I'll have enough space to use this piece right here so I'm not wasting, right? We'll see, I, I do have um, wax paper underneath, so if I do go over, it's no big deal. All right, that's looking mighty fine. All right, okay. I really do like this PH glue. I really, really do, um, yeah. It's, it's just like, it's just tacky enough and it's just liquidy enough. I don't know. I might have find, I might have found, excuse me, my wet glue piece, right? I mean, I've tried everything, not everything, but you know, I have tried the art glitter glue. Um, there is no glitter in it, by the way, in case you didn't know. Uh, I've tried that. It's expensive. Um, if you live in a in a climate that gets cold, you might not be able to get it during the winter time because it freezes apparently. Let's get that glue schmutz off of there. Don't need that. Um, yeah, this is much more cost effective in my opinion. You know, that's just just my opinion again. All right. Um, let's see here. We're gonna kind of smooth out, make sure we get it to the edges. It is getting tacky. It's, it's okay. It'll all be okay. All right. Now we're gonna scooch that over, bring this back, and we're gonna line this up, whoops, in the corner, quarter of an inch, about. You know, I'm not, I'm not measuring or anything. I mean, I am kind of eyeballing it. Um, I think it needs to move down some, is what I think. Let's see if we can, oh, we might not be able to scooch it down. Come on, just a little, just a little. All right, we'll see how that goes. All right, that's good enough. It's good enough, okay? All right. Good enough, all right? We're gonna use our brayer, okay? And then we're gonna get rid of this piece in case it has some stray glue on it. Whoops, that went on the floor. Okay, see I have some glue on the cover here. <laughs> doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, we're gonna roll this out, right? We're gonna roll this out just to make sure The glue, I don't really care about, quite honestly. The glue that's on there. Now, I could try to take it off. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. So, there is the inside. It does not appear to have wrinkles or anything of the sort. Okay? it look. It's looking pretty darn good. Okay? All the corners are down. See, this isn't exact. It, it's fine. It'll all be fine. And... I have space, um, you know, for the spine, right? In other words, I mean, I guess you could, if you really wanted to, I could go this way and reinforce the spine this way, but I want this on the back. Therefore, yeah, I want this to go like this and look like this. Therefore, it's being reinforced by the other side, right? It's not being reinforced by the inside. It, so... I hope that makes sense. In other words, there's, I don't believe that there's any reason why I need to reinforce the inside. It can just stay like that. It, you know, it's craft color. It'll be, it'll all be good. Okay. Now this does have to dry. Um, but what I'm going to do next, uh, which is slightly scary. I don't even know how I'm going to do this quite frankly, because you know, I've never done this before. So I think what I might do is glue it separately like 
one at a time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <sighs> okay. All right, we're in this together, folks. We're in this together. All right, so let me get that other piece of wax paper. We'll just fold it in half, okay? So that we have a space right here. And I do believe, you know what? I'm gonna clean this off because it's, it's giving me gloppy gloopies, all right? And I don't like that. I have not cleaned this off in a while. You can use a brush too. You don't, I mean, I've seen even people, I've seen people use, this is just a baby wipe. I've seen people use, um, what's it called? Um, what are those things called? Popsicle sticks even, you know? Like you don't, uh, use what you have. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can use like a credit card thing or whatever. Okay, so this is cleaned off. Now, I just wanna make sure that you're able to see, yes, what I'm doing. Okay, I am just gonna glue one side of this, okay? We'll see how this goes, okay? Yep, again, guys, we're in this together, all right? Still using the PVA glue. If I go over the score line, I don't care. My goal is that I just get glue over the entire side, right? That's, that's my goal here, just to make sure that I have glue, especially on the edges and corners. Okay, now, okay, we're gonna go here like this, okay? And we're going to line up the spine thing. All right, let's see how that goes. <clears throat> All right. We line that up. Does it need to go over anymore? No, that looks that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so we're going to roll this out just to make sure that all the glue is spread out, okay? All right, I think we're getting somewhere, folks. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna fold this over, okay? And I'm gonna put glue on the rest of this, all right? Yeah, so let's see. Put glue on the rest of this. Yes, I do put a generous amount. Now with this PVA glue, honestly, I, I've said it before, I really like it. It's, it's just tacky enough for me and it's also just liquidy, just liquidy enough, you know? It's like the Goldilocks of glue. I don't know. And to me, it's a lot more cost effective than some of the other glues that are out there now. You could use a glue stick. You could use Elmer's glue. You don't have to have any, any special glue, okay? No special glue. Now, what I think we might do is just do this. We're gonna open this bad boy up and we're just gonna plunk it down, okay? That's what we're going to do. Oops, I should not have done that. Okay, we're gonna scooch that down a little bit. All right, yeah, no big deal, okay. Now, remember, I already have the score marks on this, right? Oh, that's off. <gasps> okay, no big deal, no big deal. Relax, Elizabeth, relax. Okay, while it is still wet, we are just gonna go ahead and fold, whoops, sorry, am I even in frame? Okay, we're gonna gently fold it, okay? Then we're gonna open it up. Nope, I don't like that. I don't like that one single bit, okay? This is what is going to happen. All right, see? We're all learning together, okay? I am peeling this up. Yes, it looks a mess, okay? No big deal, because this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna now roly-poly it back into place. Okay, no big deal, all right? So, if you can see right here, look at that, okay? That didn't work out as I had planned. This, this is okay, you know, I don't really care about that, um, but this has got to go. So, where did I put my scissors? 
Don't you hate that, guys? Oh, I put them away. <laughs> Looky there. I actually put them away. All right, so we're just going to take this and give it a little haircut, right? No big deal. No big deal. I should have been a little bit more careful, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, process over perfection and all that jazz. Um, however, I, I mean, you know, if you've been on my channel at all, you know how picky I am. That's just, that's just how I am, okay? <laughs> that is just how I am. Um, yeah, so I'm just cleaning this off. Okay, where's my garbage? All right, there we go. Okay, so, I'm not gonna, oh, I got glue everywhere. All right, so it came out fine, all right? It came out fine. Now, I'm going to let this dry, all right? I'm going to let it dry completely, okay? But we have our cover pretty well done. Now, I do have some glue bits down here that I can see. With this particular glue, it you are able to rub it off. Okay, you might even try taking a baby wipe. Can you even see what I'm doing? Yeah. You might even try just taking a baby wipe and wiping it off, but it, I, you know, it really is no big deal. You just don't want things sticking, right? Okay, so this is going to dry off, all right? The, this is now a little bit more sturdy, okay? We are gonna wait until this dries completely, okay, now. The only thing that I can foresee happening uh, is <clears throat> when I go to fold it once it is completely dry, because this is just cardstock, what might end up happening, I really hope it doesn't, but what might end up happening is it will crack, okay? And if that's the case, then we'll fix it with lace or something. You know, there's always a fix when whenever you're junk journaling, okay? Um, but I am going to wait for it to completely dry. I will probably then take it to my scoreboard and score, you know, where the folds were originally. All right. Once it is completely dry. Yeah, I think we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but that's how it's looking right now. And yeah, I think it's going to make a really cute book. So... I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you understood the beginning of it. Like if you do not have a hanging file folder, it's not the end of the world. You can um, try to use a regular file folder if you want, just because it already has the score marks in it, which it does make it easier for you to find your spine and all that kind of stuff. Um, you don't have to make a spine. That's how you expand the spine without having to add a spine if that makes sense. So there you have it. The cover is done. We're going to wait for it to dry completely. And then we'll go about folding it, manipulating it. You know, the thing is, okay, let me just back up a minute. Here was the tip that the reason why I, un I took this part off and then re-glued it flat. And we'll see if that was a mistake. Um, but because when I manipulated it to fold it while it was still wet and then you open it back up again, it leaves a raised crease, right? Because the, the, when the glue's wet, obviously the paper is still movable, right? Um, and I don't want that. I don't want that, like, um, it moves, you know, the paper moves. So once it is dry, I can then go, like, I can see where my score marks are here and here okay and I can I can even slightly manipulate it right just to kind of get it to start going but I don't want to do that until it is completely dry all right because I don't want those ripples in in the spine okay so I hope I've explained everything here's the beginning this is already starting to feel super you know like not super thick but a lot thicker you know than it would be otherwise and again this journal was out of necessity so I figured I'd add it to the series of how to make a junk journal it's just out of a different substrate this being a file folder or a sorry not a file folder it's a hanging file folder there is a difference so 
I do believe that these are a bit thicker. I guess it all depends on where you get your file folders, right? I just happen to have a bunch of these, so that's what I'm using. Um, yeah, so come back next time, and we're going to finish making the cover, and we'll probably start on the signatures, okay? There will be two signatures, because this is going to be my November and December for 2022. Um, I really... I, I don't know, I well, I can tell you, I've never worked in a journal like this for my creative daily journal, so we'll see how it goes. Yes, come along for the ride. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day and a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye for now.